Akon took woman for four months to his planet in Alpha Centauri, where she gave birth to alien child. For about four months, Elizabeth Clara, a South African woman, lived on the planet of Proxima Centauri, where she fell in love with an alien that had brought her there. The history of Elizabeth Clara is one of the most bizarre and unusual in ufology. She was the first woman who claimed to have been in sexual relations with an alien. Starting in 1956, she publicly claimed to have been contacted by aliens multiple times between 1954 and 1963. At the same time, the woman assured that everything she had told was true, particularly falling in love with an alien, the birth of a child from him, and a journey through colorful starry worlds. Clara had led an active life before she was abducted by aliens. She was interested in music, aviation, and meteorology. During World War II, she served in the Royal Air Force, which characterizes her as a sane woman and a patriot of her country. Elizabeth's first UFO encounter occurred in the Drakensberg Mountains in 1954. She saw a really handsome man inside it. Then, in 1956, she encountered the same UFO again, and this time it had landed. The man inside, named Akon from Venus, invited her in. He had a fair, golden-hued skin, while another member of the crew was short and stocky with olive skin. She took a short trip in the saucer, and they offered her water, a red apple, and fruit like bananas. Akan spoke perfect English and said he had lived on Earth for a short time. She talked with him and was later returned to where she was. In her autobiography Beyond the Light Barrier, she mentioned that Akon was an astrophysicist from Meaton, a planet of Proxima Centauri that, at a distance of about 4.3 light years. Akon explained how his spaceship's light propulsion technology operated, and how it allowed him and his people to travel across vast interstellar distances. This technology is explained in detail in the book. She even painted the alien's portrait. Above the clouds, two spaceships were hovering in the clear sky. Akon's ship lowered a little and I knew we had found each other. This brought me into close communication, a bond of affinity and love with Akon, who assured me of his physical presence and transmitted much information about his way of life, where he came from, and the great civilization of his people. When the time was right, I went out into the mountains to find him, away from the cities and pollution of Earth people, away to the beautiful and mysterious Drakensberg of Natal where I was born in the year of Halley's Comet. Elizabeth Clara in Beyond the Light Barrier Elizabeth and Akon had a son together. It is not clear for what reasons, but she did not paint the image of her son, perhaps because she had seen him for a short time. The hybrid child was forced to stay on the planet Metten, where Elizabeth's love story took place. The woman was forced to return to Earth after four months of living on another planet. To her great regret, she began to have heart problems, which were caused by the magnetic field of a new planet for her. Akon and the others told Elizabeth that they were actually from Venus, and had lived on it before it turned into a cold chunk of stone. When Venus died, they flew to a planet called Meton and now live there. They noted that when Venus was a normal planet, there were many planets like the Earth. They said that Venus had died because its orbit changed, and it came too close to the Sun. When they realized the irreparable would happen, they began to fly away from Venus in search of other worlds and used the Earth and the Moon for temporary stops. Elizabeth learned that the Venusians still have their bases on Earth, the Moon, and Mars, and they regularly visit them because they feel responsible for the fate of Earthlings